please welcome to the stage, Marito Lopez. Yeah. Let's keep that going for my mom. Yes. How you guys doing? Living life? Everybody flexing? Hey, you don't even laugh at jokes, bro. You just flex. It's sort of terrifying. Okay, living. The rest of you guys are like, oh shit, I bet they really did run out of comics, so they got a dishwasher from the back to tell some jokes, right? <laughs> like I'm just in the back scrubbing dishes, and they're like, yo, we ran out of comics! Put a nice shirt on, Hector! Follow your dreams! <laughs> and I'm like, see! Para mi familia! And I know I look stereotypical as fuck right now, okay? It's not even your fault. I look like a villain from Narcos right now, okay? Like a gay Pablo Escobar, that's what's happening. I had to do it though, bro, I had to get the mustache, okay? I felt a little uncomfortable at first, I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm like, God damn it, I look like a pedophile who looks like he will get pedophiled, okay? It was... It was way too much. You're still not laughing at the jokes, bro. You're still just flexing. And I just want to be your friend. Do you know what I'm saying? I just want to be your friend, bro. You guys look like you have very wholesome sex. That's very cool. All right? Like when you guys fuck, fireplaces appear. That's what happens. Okay? Autumn leaves start falling on the bed. Sarah McLaughlin starts playing a live concert in the foyer, all right? I'm just saying you guys are very white. Good job. Anyways. My man, I like you though, bro, with the Blue Jays. Look at your neck, dog, okay? I've been staring at it. Your Adam's apple is bigger than my torso, okay? <laughs> you look like you don't even have sex with your dick. You just tell girls to climb on your neck like this. <laughs> That's a guy I want to hang out with. Look at your finger, way bigger than my dick, bro. Okay, I want to be your friend. After the show, let me climb on your shoulders, okay? All right, we'll be like a white and brown transformer. We'll go out into the streets, we'll fight crime. You do the beating and I'll do the shit talking. It'll be amazing. Right, you can even help me pick out a tall girl. You do the fucking and I'll whisper poetry in her ear, yes. Oh, I like this, this is really dope. This is really dope. Yeah, fucking studs over here, goddamn studs, just killing it. You guys have wholesome sex for sure. You guys should like get together. I don't know what you are, bro. You're very ambiguously raced. You know what I mean? Like you could either be like Latino or like the hottest real estate agent in Brampton. I don't know what you are, bro. Okay? But I bet you're just a white guy from Mississauga who fucks to white snake. That's what you do. So I love, I love uh, Ontario, I love Toronto. I'm, not, I, I'm uh, from Calgary, well I'm not from Calgary, Alberta. Uh, I'm from El Salvador, blah, 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 okay. But I grew up in Calgary, Alberta and I love Ontario. I love Toronto because it's multicultural as fuck, okay. Tonight is not an example of that, but it is. <laughs> But I didn't even move out here for the dope food, for the dope comedy, for none of that, okay? I swear to God, I moved out here because of fucking Drake, okay? <laughs> I love Drake with a passion, all right? I study his lyrics. This guy has a line where he's like, yo, take you to the Scarborough Bluffs, throw you off a cliff, boy. <laughs> you guys hear that poetry? <laughs> The first time I heard that, it changed my life, okay? Cause you don't hear shit like that in Alberta. All you hear in Alberta is fucking Nickelback, that's it. <laughs> and everybody drives a truck with balls on it, okay? You don't even start the truck, you tickle the balls and it goes. So when I heard Scarborough Bluffs, I'm like, man, I'm gonna start saying that to everybody, son, okay? If you call me short, throw you off the Scarborough Bluffs, boy. <laughs> If you get my order wrong at Tim Hortons, throw you off the Scarborough Bluffs. But one of my boys is from Scarborough, okay? And he was like, hey buddy, have you actually ever been <laughs> to the Scarborough Bluffs? I was like, no man, why would I go there? Drake throws people off of there. 
That sounds frightening, okay? And he's like, no, buddy, uh, it's actually quite beautiful. Okay? This guy shows me a picture of it, guys. It's fucking breathtaking, okay? I want to have my wedding there. And that shit got me mad. I'm like, come on, Drake. Why are you lying to me, bro? You can't throw people off of a picnic zone, okay? You can't throw people into a body of water where white people are sailing that's not gangster. That's like doing a drive-by shooting on skis in Banff. They will call the cops on you. Okay, and even in Ontario, everybody knows if you're gonna dump a body, you do it in Hamilton, not Niagara Falls, okay? <laughs> Shit is real. You don't wanna disrupt couples, okay? White couples like you when you sail, okay? Because you are very beautiful. You killed it, bro. You look like if you ever, ever went to my country, El Salvador, you would get kidnapped right away. <laughs> Like the minute you step off the plane, a potato bag is going over your head, you're done. I'm Marita Lopez, thank you so much.